cyber criminals are now placing infected ads on legitimate websites and whether you click on that ad or not simply by driving by your system can be infected your personal data can be stolen your system can be hijacked and especially given the fact that today tomorrow are Amazon Prime days um, I released earlier that 85% of the Amazon associated websites launched in 2024 a total of 1200 85% of them were fictitious. They were exactly the things we're going to talk about in this session. So I want to make you all aware of what these are, what the threat potentially is that you face, most importantly, how to protect yourself and what to do about it if you think you've been exposed to what's called malvertising. So let's talk about that. Malvertising is short for malicious advertising. It's the use of online ads either to spread malware and or to direct you over to malicious websites. These are going to be legitimate appearing ads, oftentimes in websites you're visiting already on a daily basis. And what the cyber criminals are doing is they're buying ad space either on these websites or through ad buy networks. Look, we're used to understanding malware and adware as something that requires an action on your part clicking on an ad that brings you to a malicious site or causes a malicious download. That's no longer the case. In fact, these ads under this malvertising model, um, sometimes just by what they call driving by, having the ads load on your computer is enough to install this malicious software. It's enough to infect your system. And in fact, much of the malicious software will intercept your browser request. So when you type something in on Google that you may be looking for, the responses may send you to one of these malicious and fraudulent sites without you even realizing it. So it's important to be aware of um, this new trend and how to spot it. There are five main types of malvertisement approaches to be aware of. The first is steganography. And in the steganography attack, malicious code is embedded into an image. So you won't see it, it's not visible to the human eye, but if you were to look at the code, you could immediately recognize that that code is embedded. And as I mentioned earlier, if you've simply loaded that image on your screen, you may already be subject to this attack. The second is a little more threatening, it's called polyglot. And in this case, the image is both embedded with malicious code and it's also embedded with executing scripts. So when that image loads, not just is the code exposed to your system, but scripts are running in the background to redirect you, to take you to some of these fraudulent sites. Um, another one is the tech support scam, right? So your browser freezes up and you get a pop-up message that says, uh, your browser is not functioning and contact um, IT support immediately. It's important to know that Apple, Microsoft, they will never reach out to you proactively. So nearly 100% of the time, when something malfunctions in your system, you should immediately suspect that there's been some type of intrusion. Certainly don't call that phone number. If anything, let's say it's disguised as a legitimate Best Buy Geek Squad uh, support outreach, go to Best Buy's website click on Geek Squad, call your local office and talk to them directly. Don't follow the number that's given to you on that pop-up. Um, same applies for what's called scareware, where you get a notification that your computer's been infected and they want you to download a solution. So they, that pop-up will come up saying, we've caught an infection on your system, download this software immediately and you know, your system will be protected. That is almost 100% of the time a scam as well. And then finally, there are the get-rich-quick scams and websites that will pop up. Ads that say, hey, if you participate in you know, doing surveys or giving reviews to legitimate companies, um, you can make a whole lot of money every day. I get three to five of these per week. You're telling me I can make between $250 and $500 a day. Certainly appealing. But the whole goal of this uh, malvertisement is to either steal your data or uh, compromise you in some way in terms of personal information. So those are the five main ones. 
um, to make you aware of. There are certainly five common sense steps that you can take to better shield yourself from these malvertisement attacks. And remember, again, you don't have to take any action to be susceptible uh, to this type of malware. So it's important that you have a reputable antivirus system in place. If you don't have one now, please stop this video, download something immediately, get it set up, do a scan of your system. But I'm sure most of you do, right? Make sure that when you're notified of software updates, both for your operating system and for the applications that you have installed in your system, make sure to keep those up to date. Consider using a secure browser. For example, ABG Secure Browser um, screens for malware and can be an intermediary step to block those nefarious sites before they do the things that they're intended to do. Take a look at all your uh, browser plugins and delete any that are not necessary. Any that you haven't directly uh, downloaded from a reputable site, any that you're not using, go ahead and delete those, right? Why open up those vulnerabilities? And finally, here's some steps you can take if you suspect you may have been exposed to one of these malvertisement attacks. Number one, do not log into any important websites such as banking, financial planning, anything containing your personal information. Just cease and desist on all of that. Number two, disconnect from the internet. Number three, restart your computer in safe mode. This will allow you to do a scan of your system without being vulnerable. Number four, go into your trash or go into your settings and delete all temporary files. This is often where you can find those malicious codes um, set up and installed and just delete them and double delete them and get them off of your system. If you go to your task manager and take a look at the programs that are using up the majority of your memory and the majority of your CPU you use. And if these are not programs you yourself are actively using or that are supportive of a program you yourself are actively using, these may be the culprit. And you want to go in and delete them as well. And then finally, and probably goes without saying, run a malware scan and make sure your system has not been infected. My name is Philip Macko. I'm a five-time published author and host of the Muddy Waters podcast and YouTube series. And listen, if you got something from this episode, please do share with friends. Uh, if you haven't done so already, click the thumbs up button. Please click subscribe. I promise on a weekly basis to update you on all the latest trends, all the cybersecurity threats, how they go about it, how to protect yourself, how to be aware of what's going on. And we have an accelerated threat climate, so it's important to stay aware, stay informed, and stay protected. Thank you for joining me. I hope to see you on a future episode.